Welcome back to the Jack Akemian Show. I'm one of your co-hosts, uh, Kevin Gibson, and we have Jimmy Patel. What's going How's on, How's it Jimmy? going? How's it going? Hey, man. Everything is everything, man. Um, listen, man, we're, 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 we're living in a time now where it seems like if it's not one thing, it's always something mm-hmm. else. It's like trials are always on the rise, persecution. You know, it's like, man, is it another life that's lost? You know, talking about... Uh, what happened one of the police brutality like man what is really going on and how should we really uh respond to that so we're going to look at james um see what the book of james has to say about how should we as believers uh deal with trials like what does trials mean to us mm-hmm. um so um just going to read uh looking at james chapter one uh looking starting at verse two uh he says my brethren Count it all joy when you fall into various trials, knowing that the testing of your faith uh, produces patience. But get this, let the patience have its perfect work uh, that you may be perfect and complete and lacking nothing. If any uh, of you lacks wisdom, let him ask God who gives it liberally, which means freely, without reproach, and it will be given to him. So, uh, you know, looking at the scripture, it says that whenever we are going through trials and tribulations, count it all joy. That didn't say be happy. Uh, you know, th- there, there's a difference be- between being joy, having joy and having happiness because exactly. happiness is a feeling. I, that, that, that happiness, my happiness could be taken away if my phone got cut off right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, my happiness could be taken away if I lost my job, if I got kicked out of graduate school. But having joy in this means that I have the internal peace knowing that God's going to be able to see me through, man. What do you think, Jimmy? Just exactly what you just said. You know, like, I don't think when you go through trials, you're going to be happy in the yeah, end. Yeah. Happiness is, like you said, it's just a feeling. It's just an emotion. It's going to yeah. flee regardless. Yeah. That internal peace is very important. Like, let's say I'm going through a trial right now personally. I'm not going to be happy. I'm not going to have a grin on my face. If I do, I'm just wearing a mask. What's keeping me steadily and constantly moving on, moving forward, is that peace that I have inside of me. Yeah. The peace is the Holy Spirit that God gave me. Tell me, yes, count it all joy, Jimmy. You're going to get through this, you know? Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Exact, that's, that's the joy that you're talking about right there. That's good. That's good stuff, man. So look, look let's go down. We're going to look at verse 12 uh, in the same chapter. It says, Blessed is the man who endures temptation, for when he has been approved, he will receive the crown of life, which the Lord has promised to those who love him. Let no one uh, uh, let no one says when he is tempted, I am tempted by God, for God cannot be tempted uh, by evil, nor does he uh, himself tempt anyone. But each of each one is tempted when he is first drawn away from his own desires and enticed. Let's see. Listen. So the thing is with this is that what the scripture was saying is here is that how we we're supposed to love God through uh, under our trials. It says, blessed is the man who endures temptations for he has been approved and he will receive the crown of life. In other words, what he's saying is that, listen, when we endure it and we have th- we are we have Christ in us to be able to work through, it, we are going to be blessed mm-hmm. and we're going to have the crown of life. But I think what happens is we get so burdened down about what we're going through. Is that, you know, in, in other words, what we're saying is that instead of giving it to Christ, we're saying, I'd rather hold on to it and say, give it over to Christ. He's saying, bless is the man who, who's able to, 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 to love me and mm-hmm. be able to give it to me when he's when he's facing trials. And so, man, we, we just got, we you know, I'm guilty of it, too. So I have to repent I'm like, man, Lord, I, I, I'm, I'm holding on to these trials, these burdens, and I'm not giving it to you. Well, you said, listen, I'm the burden barrier. Give it to me. This is what I die for. Mm-hmm. I die for all of this, but you want to be selfish and arrogant to think that you're able to do something I told you you're not able to do. Mm-hmm. You, know, you, know, you know what caught my uh, attention? Verse 13 to 15. Let no one says when he's tempted, I am tempted by God, mm. for God cannot be tempted by evil, nor does he himself tempt anyone. Yeah. But each one is tempted when he is drawn away by his own desire and enticed. Then when desire has conceived, it gives birth to sin, and sin when it is full grown brings forth death that speaks to me personally because we're all tempted we're all fallen individuals but when you're tempted 
like the scripture said, what James said, you don't really blame God yeah. for your temptation. Yeah. God is not the one that tempts you. You, in your fellowship with God, at some point, turn your back away from God and turn to your flesh. And then once you begin to sin, like I said in verse 15, then you, you, can, you, you went to your desires, which has conceived and gave birth to sin. And then later, once you go on, go on ahead and play with sin further and further and further, you give birth to death. And that's very interesting. Yeah. The yeah. God of life is not the one that's going to tempt you. The God of life is there for life. Yeah. We, if, we, if, we, if we do it in our own desire, in our own, in our own energy, in our own strength, we're just being for death. Yeah. That's just interesting right there. Yeah. And, and, and an interesting thing, it says that we're first tempted away. And the King James says we're first tempted away from our own mm. lust. Mm. Mm. Not something that Satan put in us. Not something that, you know... Our own desires, our own lustful behaviors, our own uh, secret motive. He says, and once uh, uh, lust is, you know, is conceit, the baby that it brings forth is sin. And then once sin is birth, then guess what? Here comes death. death. Here comes death. And so th that's what we, that's what we, you know, we have to learn to be able to, co to completely depend on Christ and know that we got to be able to always be honest with ourselves and be accountable to one another. Um, you know, one one of my good preacher friends said that, um, you know, I I'd rather tell someone about my temptation than my fault. Mm. Yeah. So you know, we got to be able to learn that this is this is my temptation that I'm dealing with, even while I'm facing these trials and tribulations. But remember the scripture: it says, "Count it all joy when you're facing trials." Amen. Amen.